What's going on, y'all? So, welcome back to my channel. All right, so you saw in the previous video, we caught some shad. And the crazy thing about it is, all three of these shad were female. So, we're going to extract, 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 extract <laughs> the eggs from it, which is also known as shad rope, because a lot of people eat shad rope and they're kind of expensive, but they're actually very delicious. But we're going to be doing this for my dad. And I already did one of them already. So I'm going to go ahead and get the row out and show you what it looked like. So we already had this right here bagged up and everything. And this is what it looked like right here. And this is off of one shed. One is a little bit punctured, but it's all right. It didn't really puncture that much. But you see that right there. And we're going to extract the other two, well, the four rows from the shed. Number one thing you need, you need shed, first thing. Uh, this one is about, you see the eggs popping up right there too. I think this one is roughly around like maybe 15 inches. I can put it in the catch board. Okay, so I'm gonna call it 18 inches. All right, yeah. Y'all hit it right there, about 18 inches. They are very slimy. Um, they are actually a migratory game fish. They come from the Atlantic Ocean into the Cape Fear River where I caught these at and they come here to spawn, lay the eggs and everything. Don't worry, I did not take out the biggest ones out of the river. All right, so first thing we do, we need to actually have a very sharp knife. Like I just got done sharpening this knife up a little bit. You can kind of see that edge on it right there. There you go, very sharp. All right, so this is gonna be a fairly easy process. All you gotta do, take the knife, hold up for a blade, and then you are going to stick it right there in the anal. And you're going to start coming up. You don't want to go too deep. If you go too deep, what can happen is you could puncture the row. So I just laid it on the side for a little bit just there. All right. You do want to get below the flesh, but not too low. The shad, they do have this spining underbelly right here. So I'll go up just a little bit to the side of it. And it will make it easier if you do actually scale it down too, but. All right, now here comes the chest plate right here. You kind of break through that. So you have to cut the gills a little bit. Remember, don't go too deep. You still want those sacs to be intact as much as possible. All right. Now comes the gutty part. Open her up. Oh, this one's actually very, very meaty. Okay, so you have to actually go just a little bit further down, which is not gonna be a problem. We already have our initial cut down there. Thank you. 
Okay. This is actually some of the biggest size for All right. Now we got it opened up. You can see it right there. Try to shoot off to the camera. Okay, and that's the stack that we actually punctured just a little bit right there. The bottom stack will be really good. So you have this membrane that connects it underneath. You wanna actually cut that membrane up a little bit. You can use your finger or the knife. If you're afraid you're gonna cut it, you can use your finger. Just kinda go along the side right there. I'm doing is turn my finger down, rip cage inside. You can see that right there. Pull some of these intestines out the way. Cause you don't need that. Membrane right there. You can get everything for the heart, the liver. another row well two more rows a set of rows if you will I'm put it up there just a little bit and you see what's kind of busted a little bit Ooh. it's gonna bust a little bad right there the other one's gonna be good didn't lose that many eggs out of this one right here So, I know a couple of these I'm gonna be actually using for bait, catfish bait and gar bait. And the other one, most likely, I'm gonna smoke it. I'm gonna cut all this out right here. like oysters. <laughs> That's all the intestines and everything. Alright. That one's done up. So we can actually set this to the side. as much egg as possible in there. All right, that's good right there. And here's the other shad, another big one. This is actually the biggest one. We can get all of these 
completely out without puncturing, that'd be great. All right, same thing. Still right here, the anus, let's cut up. if I'm not mistaken. Move intestines. I'm trying to pull everything back from the room. than this one. This one ended up being perfect to come out wise. So I can actually show you right here. thousands and thousands of shad eggs. AKA caviar. All right, so that is it right there. Real simple video, take your time with it. Don't do like I did and brush through this right here and puncture this part, but that was still eat good. I'm pretty sure my dad's gonna love this and I'm pretty sure my grandma's gonna love this too because I think he said he's gonna give like one of these rows to my grandma. And these rest of this shed right here, what's gonna happen to it is either A, baked or B, smoked. And there you go. Right inside out that one, both of them. And we're gonna put these on ice and we're gonna wrap these up with Ziploc bag and bag them up. And put them in the fridge. I'm not sure if we can put them in the freezer. If we can put them in the freezer, I'll put 
put some words down here somewhere when you can see like, hey, I put them in the freezer. And excuse the um the bloody mess, but this is what happens when you're cleaning fish. All right. Um, if y'all like the video or not, um, comment, like, subscribe, you know, all the whole jazz of YouTube and everything. And if you have eaten shadro before, let me know what your favorite recipe is for shadro. Except, I mean, I know there's frying it. I mean, y'all boil it, bake it, broil it, grill it. You know, let me know down in the comment section. Or if you ever want to try shadro. And I'll let you know how these turn out too. All right. Deuces. <laughs> Stay blessed. Play lines.